Over the years, I've shared a lot of different apps to help you take notes or create lists. The three I mention most often are Google Keep, Google Tasks, and the Notes app, which comes standard on iPhones. I understand that it can be very confusing since they all seem extremely similar. So in today's video, I'm going to highlight the differences and share specifically how I use each one. Now this is not going to be a tutorial video, but I do have a tutorial on Google Keep and also Google Tasks, which I will link for you down in the description box. Instead, this video is really gonna focus on how they are different and suggestions for using each one. But first, let's start with what is the same about Google Keep, Google Tasks, and the Notes app. All of them are directly tied to your account, either your Google account or your Apple account, which allows you to access your information on multiple devices, and your storage is directly tied to that service, so either Google or Apple. They all three have apps, and they all three can create checklists but there are a lot of differences between them as well. So for each one, I'm gonna give a brief overview of what it is. I'm gonna share unique features that differentiates it from the other two. I'm gonna share the limitations and I'm gonna share how I personally use it. Let's start with Google Keep. Google Keep is a free note-taking service from Google. It is connected to your Google account so you can access it on multiple devices and it's similar to virtual sticky notes. Now let's talk about some of the unique features of Google Keep. You can color code your notes, so you can assign each note a color, unlike Google Tasks and the Notes app, which just have a default color. You also can uncheck an entire checklist in one click. Notes app and Google Tasks do not allow you to do that and you can add multiple labels. So in Google Keep, the labels work almost like folders. You can attach a label to a note and then you can view all the notes under that label. But what's unique about Google Keep is you can have multiple labels so you can actually have the same note and you can access it through those various labels. So it can almost be in more than one place at one time. Also, if you create a note within Google Keep using the sidebar within a Google Doc, Google Sheets, Google Slides, or even an email, it will automatically create a link to that document or that email within the Google Keep note. Google Keep will also allow you to set reminders tied to a specific location. So I could tell Google Keep to remind me to buy butter when I arrive at a specific grocery store. You also can insert an image and then grab the text from the image. So Google Keep will analyze the image and take any text and turn it into actual text that you then can copy and paste. Google Keep also allows you to copy a note directly to a Google Doc. Obviously you could copy and paste from Google Tasks or the Notes app, but it will not automatically open up a Google Doc with that information. You would have to go in, open a Google Doc and copy and paste, whereas Google Keep will kind of cut out the middleman and do it for you. But now let's talk about some of the limitations. Google Keep will not allow you to easily move text or images from one note to another besides copying and pasting. Also, if you are adding an image to a note in Google Keep, you are limited to 10 megabytes and 25 megapixels. So how do I use Google Keep? I'll be honest and say that I used it far more often when I was teaching versus now where I'm just running my own business. When I was teaching, I always had Google Drive open on my computer, so it was very easy to access through the sidebar. My absolute favorite way to use Google Keep is recurring checklists. Those are checklists that I use again and again. So morning routine, afternoon routine, grading routine, what to do with a new student, what to do at the beginning of the year, end of the year, so on and so forth. Because Google Keep will allow you to uncheck all of the items in one click, that was my favorite for recurring checklists where I'm gonna reuse it again and again. I also used it to link to slides that I was teaching from. I always had slides for my math lessons, science lessons, and so on. Sometimes I wouldn't get through all of the slides. So whatever slide I left off on, I would then create a Google Keep note and it would link not only to that slideshow, but to that specific slide. So when I was teaching multiple classes, it sometimes was a little bit confusing to remember which slide I left off on for which class. So I used Google Keep to keep that organized. 
Next, let's talk about Google Tasks. Google Tasks is a free list making service from Google. Once again, it is connected to your Google account so you can access it on multiple devices. It's basically just virtual to-do lists. Now, since Google Tasks focuses just on lists, I will say there are less unique features and more limitations. But the number one unique feature that I love is that you can easily move tasks from one list to another. Within the Notes app, you would have to copy and paste, and within Google Keep, you also would have to copy and paste. Whereas in Google Tasks, you can take a task you have already written up, all of the details, and simply move it from one list to another. Another unique feature is that Google Tasks is linked to your Google Calendar. So if you assign a specific date and time to a task, it will actually appear on your Google Calendar. And you can even add tasks to your list within your Google Calendar. So if you are very date and time driven and you forget due dates, Google Tasks is great because you will have the reminder on your calendar. But let's talk about the limitations because there are quite a few. First of all, you are not able to open Google Tasks full screen, unlike the Notes app or Google Keep, unless you use a Chrome extension. So there is kind of a workaround for this one, but it's not perfect. Also, every task you add to a list has a checkbox. So it's not going to work well for just taking notes or even adding images, which you can't do on Google Tasks at all. Another limitation is you cannot duplicate a list or a task, whereas within Notes or within Google Keep, you can duplicate something you've already created and that makes it easy to go in and make a few minor changes. You also cannot share your tasks or your lists with others, whereas Google Keep and the Notes app can be shared. And finally, there is no exporting it into another format unless you just copy and paste it. So what do I use it for? Because there's not a whole lot I can do besides making lists. So personally, I use it to organize all of my to-do lists. I have a future to-do list, a weekly to-do list and a power list. I do have a vlog where I show you exactly how I manage this system, which I will link for you down below, but I love being able to easily move items from one list to another. So at the start of each week, I will move tasks from my future to-do list to my weekly to-do list. And then each day I move three tasks from my weekly to-do list to my power list. So I know what to focus on that day. And as I mentioned, because it is connected to my Google Calendar, I do like to use it for reminders such as paying my powerlifting coach so I don't forget. And finally, the Notes app. The Notes app is a free note-taking app that comes standard on Apple devices. It is connected to your Apple account, so it can be viewed on multiple devices, even PCs. You are able to go to iCloud and open up your notes. Now, I'm sure there are similar apps for Android, but personally, I'm an Apple girl, so I cannot help you with that. Edited it together on my Mac. So let's start with the unique features. First of all, you are able to lock individual notes using a password. The Notes app also has a scan feature. It will allow you to take a picture of a document and it will automatically turn it into a PDF file. The Notes app also has more formatting options such as bolding, italicizing, changing the text size, whereas Google Keep and Google Tasks, you're just limited to the default. Also within the Notes app, you are able to share entire folders, which will automatically share all the notes within that folder. Whereas with Google Tasks, you can't share it all. And within Google Keep, you can only share one note at a time. But some of the limitations, you can create checklists within the Notes app, but you are not able to uncheck all of the items at one time like you can on Google Keep. So it's not ideal for those recurring checklists. Also, just like on Google Keep, you cannot move text or images from one note to another unless you duplicate the note or you copy and paste it. So how do I use the Notes app? First of all, and maybe this is frowned upon, don't judge me, I do store a lot of my account information, my usernames, passwords, but I have it on a password protected note, which makes me feel like it's more secure. And let's be honest, I could never remember them all anyway. I also use it for note taking that requires more formatting, but doesn't need to be in a Google Doc. To me, Google Docs are a very formal way of note taking. Like I outline my YouTube videos in Google Docs. The Notes app is more like I need to write up a caption for an Instagram post, but I need to be able to space things out. And I feel like the Notes app is best suited for that. I also use it as easy access to certain documents or screenshots. Hopefully I'm not the only one that has a million and a half screenshots on my phone within the Photos app. 
and I never go back and look at them. So the ones that I do find myself referencing, I will actually put into the notes app. That way I know exactly where to find it and I'm not scrolling through tons of photos. I know you can like sort your photos by just screenshots, but even then there's so many of them. And finally, I do have a shared folder with Billy, who is my husband, and that's where we keep track of like our grocery lists and some of our joint account information and certain things that we need for the house. It's all in one location. We both have access. We both can edit it and any changes he makes will automatically show up on my end and vice versa. That is it. Those are the differences between Google Keep, Google Tasks, and the Notes app. Keep in mind, I use all three, but you don't have to. You could stick to just one or two. It's all about knowing what is best for each one and finding a way to make it work for you. So hopefully this helped you have a better understanding of some of those unique features, but also those limitations so that you can make the right decision. If this was helpful for you, please give the video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one.